up guys it's Russell here and today I'm back with another mock video to show you guys now before I start the video I just want to wish you guys a very happy new year and I hope you guys had a very Merry Christmas so yeah into the video so as you can see today's video will be a Lego gun so the reason I decided to make a Lego gun was because you know 2021 is coming up the new year and everything so I decided to make a special mock because of the new year. So it's a Lego gun, a Lego pistol to be exact. And yeah, so this is actually going to be part one of the Lego pistol. I'll be making a part two of this because I wanna improve it, it can't shoot. So I wanna make a second version of this that can shoot. So I will be doing part two. So be sure to check my channel um, if you could every day. So, you know, like to check if I posted part two or not, but yeah. So let's take a look at the gun. I'm gonna take the magazine out of the way. So as you can see, this is the gun side. Looks pretty nice, and you got this rubber band technique. So like the the slide on the blowback will close up without me having to push it back, which I really like. And also we have a gun hammer at the back, and the whole space at the back is like um not not enclosed, so there's room for the hammer. And taking a look at the other side and at the front. Now, as you can see at the front, there's a uh, Technic pin. The Technic pin was supposed to like hold on to rubber bands. Like I was originally gonna make this gun shoot, but I wasn't able to, but yeah. And now taking a look at the bottom of the gun, we've got a hole for the magazine and the magazine does fit in and you could take it out. So let's put it in and you can take it out too. And also we have some space here for the trigger and it triggers the blowback, which I really like. And now let's take a look at the mechanism of the trigger inside. So let's take the, uh, hang on a sec. All right, and yeah. So now this is the mechanism on the inside. So as you can see on, on both sides of the slide on the blowback, there's a Technic brick, a very long one with lots of Technic holes for Technic pins. And right here we have a Lego Technic hinge for the um, trigger and then it's connected to another Technic hinge to make a trigger because just one is not long enough. And also I used a really long Technic pin so like um, uh, it could fit, fit up to here. And the reason that this te the, the Technic hinge connected to this Technic hinge is not moving around is because two Technic pins were used to connect this Technic hinge with the this one. So this way it doesn't move around. And yeah, that, that makes a good trigger. So now let's put this back on. And then put this back on. All right, here we go. So yeah, that's the that's the mechanism of the trigger. And yeah, so uh, hang on a sec. Let me stick the magazine in. And it's stuck in. And I'm just going to pull the trigger a few times so you guys can uh, see how I shoot it. Well, it doesn't shoot, shoot anything, but yeah. And yeah, so that's the trigger mechanism also. I have this design on the back of the gun's grip. I made this technique by using a Lego snot brick and a Lego plate with uh, more Lego bricks and plates on it. I mean, stud plates. And by the way, if you don't know what snot stands for, snot stands for studs not on top. And it means to like, like put plates I mean like to connect plates horizontally onto these Lego bricks rather than just stacking Lego bricks together um, vertically and let's put the the grips back back on and put the hammer out here and yeah so guys that is pretty much it for this video that's all i have to say about part one to this lego gun hope you guys enjoyed this video please like subscribe and comment to my channel because i would really appreciate that 
Remember to stay tuned in for part two. And yeah, so it does it for this video, and Happy New Year!